We all know that the Realme 8i is the most affordable or the cheapest smartphone sa Realme 8 series. And this time guys, itong Realme 8i nilang ito ay na late na na launch kisa doon sa Realme 8 Pro and the Realme 8 wherein before it was launched all together sabay-sabay dito sa atin sa Philippines. With that, according to them, this phone is more focused on photographers and gamers in mind. The question is guys, is it worth the wait and if it is worth getting? Hey guys, it's your Tago Mary and welcome back to our channel. Balik Realme na naman tayo guys and hindi matatapos ang taon nang hindi nila launch yung kanilang affordable one sa kanilang Realme 8 series. Akala ko na last na nila yung kanilang Narzo 50A that we just featured. Anyway, itong Realme 8 ay, ay available sa dalawang variants. We have the 4GB with 64GB of internal storage and then meron din tayong 6GB RAM na merong 128GB of internal storage. Anyway, let's do it very quickly dahil alam ko namang yung iba sa inyo ay alam na kung ano yung kanilang dapat i-expect. But to those who doesn't know yet, ito sila. We have some paperworks and of course, a jelly case. Here we also have the phone itself, which is yung kulay na... Wait lang guys, I forgot what it... Space black. Ayan. We have it in space black. Anyway, if you are not a fan of black, it's also available in space purple. It also comes with an 18 watt power brick and yung kanyang USB Type-C na charging cable. When it comes to making smartphones, kilala natin ang Realme guys sa paggawa ng mga good-looking, appealing, really attractive smartphones. At kung makikita nyo naman, the Realme 8i is still an attractive one. Maganda yung kanyang design and nung una ko siyang nakita outside the box. Nagulat din naman ako and kahit pa paano guys, even na budget device lang siya, napawaw din ako. Not literally na wow! Pero in my mind, na-appreciate ko yung kanyang design. Kung mapapansin nyo rin guys, no, meron siyang gradient design. It's not technically black lang. So it's not your boring kind of black. Meron siyang streaks of light every time na ititilt natin yung device. And of course, the back is curved. So guys, maganda yung grip ko sa device. Making it comfortable to hold kapag araw-araw mo na siyang gagamitin. And of course, it has a solid feel. Hindi siya yung tipo ng budget device guys na cheap sa pakaramdam. It really is a well-balanced one. So yes, it's a good looking device. Ang hindi ko lang nagustuhan is of course, it really is a fingerprint magnet smartphone. Guys, very obvious sa kanya. Lalong lalo na na black pa yung napunta sa akin. So I suggest... Put a jelly case kung ayaw nyo na medyo, alam nyo na, madumi siyang tignan. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, so meron tayong speaker grill dun sa pinakaibabaw ng device. Isa siyang manipas na grill guys at hindi siya secondary speaker. Akala ko at first secondary speaker siya guys kasi parang medyo mukha nga talaga siyang speaker. Anyway, speaking of speaker, meron lamang siyang isang loud speaker na located sa ilalim. Aside from the speaker, meron dun siyang USB Type-C at yung kanyang headphone jack. And then the power button that also acts a fingerprint sensor is on the right and the volume rockers is on the left. And then bukod pa doon, yung SIM tray naman niya is nasa ibabaw. Actually, this is my kind of buttons. I like that the volume rockers is on the left. Mas mabilis mag-screenshot. And alam niyo, may mga shortcuts tayo na pwedeng gawin sa kanya that is quite easier to do kaysa kapag ang volume rockers ay nasa kanan. By the way, in terms of weight, it's on the heavier side. Pansin ko sa kanya guys, pag labas ko pa lang sa box and to be exact, it's actually 6 grams heavier kung ikukumpara natin doon sa Realme 7i last time. It's 194 grams now guys and probably because mas malaki yung kanyang display. Now speaking of the display, meron siyang 6.6 .6 LCD panel. I know, LCD panel, but it's a budget device, guys. So, medyo given na. So, acceptable naman siya para sa akin. On the brighter side, meron siyang 120Hz of refresh rate. And not only that, it's also 1080p resolution. So, kahit pa paano, guys, nabawi naman yung pagkakaroon niya ng LCD panel doon sa pagkakaroon ng Full HD+. And of course, 
a higher refresh rate. What I like about its refresh rate, guys, when you go to settings, meron siyang auto-select feature. Hindi siya locked out at standard and high, which we all know, guys, na kapag pinili natin yung high na refresh rate or the 120Hz, this will definitely affect your battery. So it's better if we go to the auto-select so that safe tayo, it will automatically choose what refresh rate it will use. And actually, no, yung Realme 8i probably is one of the most affordable device na mabibili mo rin sa market right now na merong 120Hz refresh rate. I love the display. I love the screen, guys. The bezels are not too thick. And yung black bar niya sa ilalim or the chin na tinatawag natin also doesn't really bother me as much. Brightness-wise, wala naman akong problema kay Realme 8i. It's not too lacking. Hindi rin naman siya masyadong sobra. It's definitely the peak brightness na i-expect natin sa kanyang price point. So far, para sa kanyang display, it's actually accurate and yung kanyang color space is also really good. Probably because the Realme 8i's screen supports DCI-P3 colors. On the other hand, guys, if you guys love binge watching, of course, movies or series, wala siya or hindi siya support ng HDR. I know it may not have the deepest black na ina-expect nyo sa kanyang price point. I know may mga phones pa rin kayo mabibili na may AMOLED display, pero kukonti lang talaga yung choices natin sa market na ganun. And for me, a higher refresh rate paired with a full HD plus display na of course, nagsusupport ng wide vine L1 DRM, okay na okay to sa akin. Katulad ng Realme 8 5G guys that we talked about, meron din siyang 5,000mAh of battery capacity. Parehas rin na nagsusupport ng 18 watt fast charging. It's not something that I can complain about guys. To be honest, alam naman natin na yung Realme 8i ay mas mura kaysa doon sa Realme 8 5G. So having the same battery capacity and charging speed is actually not bad to have. Gusto ko na tumagal siya ng more than one day, which is actually good already for a budget device. And isa pa, although medyo sluggish lang yung charging speed natin sa kanya, which is 2 hours and around 30 minutes, it's definitely something na kaya kong antayin. Kaysa naman, lower battery life, tapos higher speed. Now, the cameras. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, parang this last quarter, no? 50 megapixels talaga ang trend sa mga budget devices. Pangatlo na tong smartphone na to na pinag-usapan natin sa channel ngayon na merong 50 megapixels. Most of the smartphones, tinatanggal talaga ang ultrawide, nagko-compromise yung ibang cameras just to have a higher megapixels. Ngayon, tingnan natin if it is actually worth it. Yung cameras natin guys, uulitin ko, 50 megapixels nga yung ating primary camera na... Meron ding 2 megapixels macro shooter and yung 2 megapixels monochrome depth sensor niya. Bukod pa doon, yung front camera naman natin ay 16 megapixels. Anyway, kung curious kayo doon sa main camera natin sa Realme 8i, it uses Samsung's ISOCELL S5 KJN1. The camera application guys, medyo familiar pa rin siya. It's your typical Realme UI, and wala rin naman nadagdag sa atin. Unang-una, if you guys are expecting the Realme 8 i to capture automatic 50 megapixel photos, that's not it. We all know it uses pixel binning technology, so guys, if we want to achieve the full 50 megapixel experience, of course, pupunta tayo doon sa option na yon para magkaroon tayo ng sharper and clearer images. Sa tabi ng 50 megapixels na yon meron tayong more menu. Ngayon, nandito yung kanyang dual view, slow mode, time lapse, movie mode, pro expert, panorama, text scanner, and ultra macro. Don't worry guys, bukod pa doon, may dedicated night mode naman tayo sa kanya. At first, no, nung nalaman ko na may bago nga tayo yung Realme 8i na ilo-launch here in the Philippines, sabi ko sa sarili ko, ito na naman tayo with another 50 megapixel phone na Alam niyo yun, hindi naman talaga minsan 50 megapixel. But then, surprisingly guys, even while using the main camera that saves 12.5 megapixels, by default, very outstanding and punchy yung colors ng ating photos. And again, kung gagamitin na natin yung 50 megapixels mode, as usual, they are sharp and very detailed, especially when we crop a photo. Now, for the night mode, maganda naman guys. They were okay. Yun nga lang, it's not really the best night mode na nakita ko sa isang budget device. Overall, nakatulong naman yung night mode. Don't get me wrong guys. And overall, I really like how 
the Realme 8 Eyes camera is actually really good and something na magagamit natin for everyday and of course for uploading sa social media. Ang medyo na disappoint lang ako is of course the lack of ultra wide camera. Naiintindihan ko naman guys, we have to sacrifice of course some cameras na nagpapamahal sa kanya to actually achieve having 50 megapixels. Anyway, kung katulad nyo ako na mahilig gumamit ng ultra wide cameras, think about it first. Now, para sa performance ng Realme 8i, again guys, ang chipset na nilagay dito ni Realme ay MediaTek Helio G96 that is available in two configurations. Again, sabi ko nga kanina, meron tayong 4GB RAM na meron 64GB of internal storage. And then of course, the 6GB RAM na merong 128GB of internal storage. And take note guys, it's already UFS 2.1 which is actually good. I know some of you guys always look for the benchmark and dito talaga tayo most of the time, dumedepende. Pero kasi ang kaso dito, it's not always the truth and it doesn't always apply in real life. Para sa akin guys, very smooth ang aking naging experience sa device na ito. Multitasking is actually very smooth and even pag nagbabato tayo sa kanya ng mga demanding applications, kinakaya niya. So para sa akin guys, na-sustain yung performance ng Realme 8i although it may not be the most powerful or gaming-centric smartphone na mabibili natin ngayon sa price point niya. Pero para sa akin guys, hindi niya ako dinisappoint. If you're on the budget side and hindi naman kayo nagahanap ng isang smartphone na 5G ready and you're someone who most of the time upgrade their smartphone, yun talagang hindi naman nagahanap ng feature-proof kasi madalas next year mag upgrade na yan, Realme 8i is definitely worth considering. Plus side yung kanyang price and of course the 120Hz of refresh rate. Competitive yung cameras niya and of course yung kanyang chipset is also not that disappointing. Although may mga syempre cons pa rin naman tayo na hindi maiiwasan sa kanya. Isa na dito yung kanyang lack of ultra-wide camera and of course, the lack of stereo speakers. When it comes to charging naman, hindi ako masyadong nagre-reklamo. To be honest, I'm all about having bigger battery kaysa sa mas mataas na speed tapos sobrang liit lang na battery capacity. Anyway, that's basically it for our video for today. Actually, sana nga guys, nakatulong itong pag, of course, review ko ng Realme 8i dahil alam ko namang most of you guys papalapit na ang um, of course mga bonus malapit na rin ang Pasko and yung iba dito cellphone ng regalo sa mga sarili nila again it's Rita Girl Mary and see you on our next video bye guys